Hello mathematicians, here's your task for today. I've got our learning intention up the top here. It's the same one we've had for the last couple of weeks. It is to know, to find unknown quantities in number sentences. How do we know we've achieved it? Well, we look at the success criteria. You've got a more extensive list on your slides. I've pulled these two out because they really fit in well with what we're doing today. We are going to understand that a number can be represented by a letter and we're going to find missing numbers. Today's task is called today's target. Oh, I should have drawn a um, bullseye over here. Is today's target. So what happens here is you are given a number. Olivia, give me a number between 15 and 30, please. 27. So... The lovely Olivia has chosen 27, that is today's target number. Then what you're asked to do is work out some missing numbers. If I said to you that A is a number and B is a number and C is another number and all together when they're added they equal 27, can you give me some uh, reasonable answers for what A might represent, what B might represent, and what C might represent. Olivia, should we have a go at it? Let me see. In my head, I'm thinking A could be 10. B could be 11. How much does that get us to, Liv? 21. 21. So that means that C must be... Liz? Six. Six. So this, then I go back and double check because that's what smart maths people do. A, 10 plus 11 plus 6, 27. Tick for me. So I've just shown you what A, B and C could possibly represent in this equation. That's what you're doing for your assessment task. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And, oh, and guess what? I broke my own house rules, especially for you guys, because it's the rule around here is no blue tack on the walls. But, you know, tough times call for tough measures, and I've changed my ways, and I've put blue tack on my walls at home. Here is today's target. This will be up on your slide as well. It is 23. And then I've given you some expressions here or equations that you need to find missing numbers for. The only thing I want to say to you is just because an A up here you decide that the A is going to equal 10, then the next equation is a completely different one. The A doesn't have to equal 10 in all of them. Each of them are independent of each other. So in the next one, your A could equal a 7. However, if you've got another A in the number sentence, that has to equal a 7 as well. I hope that makes sense. Go well. Send in your answers. I can't, see, I can't wait to see what you've come up with. Oh, and if I wanted to check in here, did I understand when I did my equation with Livy that a number could be represented by a letter? Yes, I did. Did I find some missing numbers? Yes, I did, and I'm sure you can too.